Yeah. So, if you want to look at them. Yeah. What were the platelets? Thank you. Because, uh, yeah, I know. I told them they don't think they did a post platelet. <laughs> So that's I don't fine. even know what they bumped to. That's what that's what that's what they said. That's what they told me. So that's why they drew it. Okay. Fifty yeah. fifty seven. Okay, well it's barely enough, right? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. That is really unfair, guys. Yeah. Really unfair. No child deserves this. What do you mean? How is the onion bagel good? We don't have to you get an onion bagel. Do you I know. want me just to, to heat this one up and put some butter on it? Yes, Are you please. sure? Good. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Straight out bagel. I should have to heat it up. So, what's the plan now? Well, we wait for the pet results, and then once we know what that is, then we'll know what our next steps can be. Uh, I heard there's three options, and Tammy's leaning more toward one because she understands it better than, than I do, for sure. To me, it seems like I had a birthday yesterday. It was back in March. <laughs> What's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Feel like throwing a ball and making her chase something. Mm -hmm. Good. Get out in the yard a little bit. Sit on the front porch. Leaves are falling. Maybe your dad can show you where that big snake lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long walk from the house, right? Too far. Okay. They get rid of the bad snakes. And the snake your dad saw, that black racer, that eats other snakes, birds' eggs, and things like that. I mean, it's a good thing. So they do a good job. Creepy, <laughs> They're creepy. That was pretty cool. I haven't seen a black snake around our, 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 our house for probably a good five years. So I'll just. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's a good thing to have. I think so. When we lived in Georgia, and we've been married, well, let's say her. It's our youngest son, born yeah. We have both of boys who this thing. And we put our house up for sale. <coughs> but we had some mice get in. We had fields on both sides, so we had field mice. So I went back in the woods and I caught a king snake. And turned him loose in the basement. Well, that's pretty good because your mice go away. They eat your mice pretty quick. That's right. But when we were trying to sell the house, the agent was walking around the outside with the prospective buyers. And on one of your uh, urology guys who took care of me, mm. I've got a few in my chest now. Mm. Not fun, for sure. Still beats the alternative. Mm -hmm. This is very true. Mm -hmm. Very I'll true. Up either seat. I'm the tough old bird. Yep. Two. What, what's your favorite thing in the world? What do you like? Are you a chocolate holic? No. You're not a chocolate holic. Okay. That's mom. That's mom. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. No, I, I bring medicinal. This is for medicinal purposes when we're in the hospital. I need my dark chocolate nuggets. <laughs> when the boys were, as Eric was still in high school, we had an exchange student from Belgium that lived with us for a semester, for a school year. Cool. And his dad owned a bakery in Belgium. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> one day, UPS comes to the door and he's got this flat box. It's about 15 pounds. I took it in the house. It was from his dad. And it said, well, addressed to me. Mm -hmm. I took it in, opened it up. It was a 15-pound block of dark chocolate. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that Tammy. would have lasted like a month or two. Maybe. <laughs> At least two weeks. <laughs> Maybe a month. Oh, it was terrible. Wow. You go in there and you, 
I'm just going to eat one little piece. I'm just going to have a tiny bit. That's like yeah. the, the candy corn for Halloween. Oh, yeah. I'm addicted to those. I stuff. love those things. Yeah. He eats them. I get them mostly for him. The kids don't eat them too much anymore. <laughs> I see him taking the jar off and eating them. We open them. a three pound bag and put it in the candy dish. Wow. Before you go to bed at night, it's just empty. <laughs> That's pretty bad. And the dogs aren't licking their lips. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Although Gracie got into the candy. No, we do. Gracie's the female. And she is. The two dogs, one of them is very dark colored brown. One of them is uh, kind of a light. They, they call the coloration dead grass. So if he's laying down in a field where you've had corn or something, you can't see it. So she was actually bred to, to retrieve ducks and geese in Chesapeake Bay, but to sit by a blind, which you shoot out of. And if she's dark, but the ducks don't see her. Hmm. And he was raised for upland game, which is like out in the fields where you run into quail and pheasant and that stuff. And same thing, if he lays down in a field, you, won't see him. you don't see him. Hmm. When we were going through such a bad drought in Texas, in our area, the only thing that was green was the water we right around the swimming pool. The rest of it was gone. Wow. Just brown. Wow. And you go out and cut go go cut the dirt. You wouldn't You know, when Juliana first got cancer, when she was five, um, she was a happy little girl, a lot of energy, and she didn't know really what was going on being five years old. And then each time she got cancer, her little light would go out. It would get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Until now, I don't see any more light in Juliet's eyes. She's so tired of the cancer hitting her and hurting her. And it's just so hard watching your baby slowly die from this evil disease that won't leave her alone. You know, as a daddy, you're supposed to protect your child. You're supposed to keep her safe. The cancer just goes around me and keeps attacking her and hurting her, giving her pain. She's lost all her joy, all her childhood. It's, it's so hard to handle. It's really hard, especially for her. I don't know. I mean, they're going to do all they can do. I don't even understand anymore. I appreciate you guys being there and listening. And your prayers. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. like a weird flower. Yeah, it does look like, almost like, yeah. Now remember, real life, they're not pink. They stain them pink. Mm -hmm. Christina? Mm -hmm. You see them? They're pink, and they mm -hmm. look like they have little arms, and you can see the nucleus. Mm -hmm. Just draw what they look like? Mm -hmm. So draw underneath what they look like, and let's label the nucleus and the cell membrane and the pseudopods. So that's pretty much all you can really see. When I put it on higher magnification, it's really hard to see them. I can try. Go 
crank. So I want to do a crank and then what? Yeah, here it is a little bit higher magnification if you want to see what I'm doing. You can't really, you still can't really see more than just the pseudopods, nucleus, and cell membrane. But if you want to take a look at higher magnification. Yeah, now what? Okay, you done now drawing that one? All right, which one's next? Paramecium? paramecium. All right, let's take a look at the paramecium slide. We'll just draw what it looks like. Uh-huh, and then label the things. What do you mean? Nucleus, uh, cell, membrane, and pseudopod. So what have you got drawn there? That's what I drew. Yeah. Well, they kind of look like, like, like this, like, like something like that. Is that what you saw? So that middle part is the nucleus. That's cell membrane. And these little things here, those are the pseudopods, which of course aren't real legs. Okay. Well, here's what I'm kind of seeing. More things look more like this. Okay, where there's the nucleus. You can look again. The outside parts, the cell membranes. We can label that. And then these little foot-like things are the pseudopods. Okay. All right. Let's look at paramecium. So that's one. What are we looking for if we're looking for paramecium? What do they look like? Come on. All right, I will tell you that they are pretty. These? The slipper ones? The slipper ones. Yes, ma'am. We're looking for the slipper ones. but come look at them because they're pretty darn cool. And you'll see them. They do look like slippers. Let me push this closer. And they're all different colors, aren't they? You see them all? Can you see the cilia? Mm -hmm. Good. And you can see the nucleus. Can you see the oral groove on any of them? No. Let me see if I can get it a little bit higher magnification and see if we can oh. find the oral groove. Here we go. This is like really blown up now. You can actually see the vacuoles if you look really close now on these. Alright, look at these. I got a couple of blue ones in the front. And you can see not just the nucleus, but you can see some vacuoles in there, too. See what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Can you draw that? Yep. It's kind of hard to see the oral groove still, but you can definitely see some vacuoles in here. You can see the cilia and the nucleus, and they're pretty cool. Let me see. Let's label what you draw. What are you drawing here? Stop! Now let's draw a big one. I know they look like that one. Let's draw a big one. So we, we can see like, thing. yeah, and little, little cilia. So we could see like the nucleus. I could see a vacuole on some of them. We could see the cell membrane. And we can see the little cilia. Yeah. There you go, Christy. Draw, draw one and kind of big. So really cool, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what parts can you draw in there? You saw inside the nucleus, right? That darker round patch. And you also probably saw something that looked like a vacuole. You saw a nucleus. Now, I don't know what kind of vacuole that was. Okay, but we can see one. Yeah, there's different types. We talked about that. 
cell so membrane, and then you saw the cilia. Mm -hmm. Daddy and Mama time. Love that, Maddie, don't you? Mm -hmm. She kept waking me up this morning Aww. and looking at me. Aww. She gave me lots of morning kisses. Isn't that funny? She's <laughs> a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. She's a mess. Hello. Or something. Where's the nut? That's silly. Hmm. She likes to snuggle. And she does. It's <laughs> crazy. She's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm.